Hey, it's Jim. Uh, just doing a quick review of the uh, UTG uh, foldable bipod. Uh, looks like a pretty good product. Uh, had, had some issues, but uh, it's the... Uh, let's see, which one is it here? Uh, the model TL-BP69ST. Uh, paid about $24 for it from uh, Optics Planet. Uh, it... Uh, comes with a couple of uh, adapters here. It's easily mountable to a uh, Picatinny rail. And it comes with uh, an adapter that uh, mounts on uh, your rifle to the swivel stud. You place this barrel, the swivel stud adapter here, you place this barrel over the, uh, the swivel stud and uh, place in this screw here and then you lay this plate over it and then you screw on this nut so it easily attaches to your rifle and then this little adapter uh, comes in handy too for other accessories if you want to use it for something else but it's got the pic Picatinny rail arrangement uh, this little bipod it, uh, Comes with, as you say, the uh, Picatelli, Picatinny rail adapter here. It easily mounts on your rifle. Uh, it can, uh, there's a screw down here that uh, if you loosen that, it can allow it to swivel uh, left and right a little bit. Uh, it has foldable legs. You just push this little button down and it'll lock into place. So overall, for $24, I think it should be a pretty good value. Uh, it's recommended by uh, Nut and Fancy, so I guess it can't be that bad. Uh, it has these uh, little uh, steel ski feet, whatever. And when it's attached to your rifle, it's, it really does uh, make things pretty steady. Let's see how much it weighs. Bipods, uh, 10.4 ounces, and then if you're going to use the uh, attachment for the swivel stud, uh, that raises it up to 12.5 ounces. So you know, a little weight, but not too bad. It's pretty light. It's made out of aluminum. Uh, yes, one of the complaints I have about it is uh, these buttons. Uh, they need to be a little bit closer to the feet because you can pinch your fingers. The finger gets stuck right in that little groove right there and you pinch your finger. Now, uh, see, I ordered this from Optics Planet. A little bit of disappointed with their uh, shipping. Uh, it took 16 days from the day I first ordered it to arrive at my house, which is about 160 miles uh, from their warehouse. So they need to do a little better with their value shipping option while you have to wait that long to receive your product. I had one issue with this, uh, you notice there's a little bit of a space right here which allows the leg to go back far enough to lock in. Uh, when I received my bipod, uh, this side wouldn't lock in. So I had to file a little bit of material off of here to allow it to lock into place. I contacted uh, UTG the day I received it and uh, I didn't receive a reply from my email. so I. Contacted them again uh, three days later, and then I received a generic email saying that I'm going to be out of the office. I'm going to shot show. It'll be ten days before I get back to you. So you know, Pete's sakes, I waited 16 days to get it in the get it in the mail from uh, Optics Planet, and then uh, now I didn't get uh, you know an adequate response from uh, UTG about the, the issue with uh, it's not locking back like it was supposed to. So, finally did get an email from them, and they say, well, uh, take the issue up with the retailer, Optics Planet, which I didn't want to do, because after waiting 16 days for the first arrival of my uh, purchase, uh, I went ahead and decided to file this off. So, I guess that would be like the only complaint I had with their quality control. Uh, their quality control inspector, uh, number four, uh, needs to get a spanking for sending this out. But, overall, I think it's a... It should be a pretty good product, you know, for the $24 I paid for it. I've seen it listed for about $30 other places, too. And I think Optics Planet uh, just raised their price about $6. Uh, 
I guess that's just par for the course of everything nowadays with the prices going through the roof. But, uh, you know, if you're looking for a, a bipod, it's, you know, it's not complicated. It doesn't have all the crazy uh, springs and things that can hang up and uh, get, you know, that can fall off or break. But it's good, good and sturdy, reasonable price. So, you know, try your best of luck and go uh, check one out. So, there's the UTG bipod. Oh, so I guess I didn't show you uh, how you can extend the legs a little bit. Got a little, put a little pressure on here and turn that nut. And you're going to set it to whatever height you want. And you say it e easily folds up. So, mount it on your rifle. It'll look something like that. Be so again, for uh, oh, see, I just just pinched my finger. So that would, the complaint about this that these screws need to be a little closer to the barrel or something, so you don't pinch your fingers. So there you have it, UTG uh, foldable foldable bipod. So you know, if you're looking for a bipod, check it out. All right, catch you guys later.